I'm playing it back in here. She's yeah. one of the junior, uh, you know, tie boxing oh, competitors. Great. That'd be great. I just love seeing these athletes establish themselves. Kickboxing match is set in a catch weight of 130 pounds and three two-minute rounds. It is brought to you by Tranquility Construction. Introducing first, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He steps into the cage tonight at a height of five feet. 10 inches. His weight, 131 pounds. He trains with Odo Kwan Martial Arts and he fights out of Fayetteville, Georgia. And tonight, in the Aries Fight Series cage, he makes his amateur debut. I present to you, Aiden. tonight at a height of five feet seven inches his weight 129.3 pounds he trains with london martial arts and he fights out of london kentucky and tonight in the aries fight series cage he makes his amateur debut i present to you Brayton Byerly bringing some fans with him from London, Kentucky. Excited to see these young men here tonight. Again, three two-minute rounds. Here we go. All the fans at home enjoying the action on Spectation Sports. We're so happy to have you with us. Lance Green got us started off right, and we're right into the action here in round one. Yeah, and Trayton Brown didn't immediately get the action started. Yeah, I think the production truck might have got a little crossed up. There yeah, the I think I just did too. Yeah. yeah. Well, I wasn't going to say anything. You know, <laughs> thank you're you're thank my you, guy, and we got a long night ahead of us. You, you know, know, it's going to be so difficult on these debuts because, you know, we need some time to. Wow, man. What and a we combo. see Trayton Byerly really just lighten up Aiden Brown in the first few seconds of this first round. Yeah, Trayton's showing to the crowd a little bit too. You know, you yeah. mentioned all of his support, and I think. He's got to watch out not to use too much energy too soon. Absolutely, and we see that with a lot of fighters' debuts. It's just not always <clears throat> young fighters, but just debuts in general. It's it's hard not to want to hurry up and get that big knockout in the first round against your your uh, comrades. But you know, low and slow can be, win the race on here. Yeah, look at Aiden uh, Brown being smart here, <clears throat> getting out of the cage. Yeah, Aiden using some movement, Trayton using some hands early, but now it looks like it's Aiden who wants to initiate the action. Yeah, and we see a lot more significant strikes coming from Tayton, but I think Aiden has a more powerful punch. Oh, nice body kick Nice there. teeth from Aiden. Yep. I do like Aiden's uh, guard a lot. It's a more traditional Muay Thai guard. Ooh, he lost his mouthpiece. Mouth oh, and then Trayton. Trayton uh, Byerly's got some swag about him. He's taunting his opponent. He's like, yeah, I knocked your mouthpiece out. I'll let you get it back. I'll knock it out again. I'm sure that's the game plan here for Mr. Byerly. And I think that mouthpiece went out of the cage. And there's yeah. some, it's turned into a real uh, oh, affair here, here getting the mouthpiece back to the fighter. Yeah, I think we got to clean it off forehand. But hey, it's the first fight. Of the I've, seen that. I've, yeah. seen, I've seen that in fights before go. where here the mouthpiece go. goes under the cage and then we're just stuck. And we're back into it. 30 seconds remaining here in the first round. I'm seeing the beginning of this here first round going to the red corner, but Aiden definitely having some good blows. They're standing here in the center of the ring. So nice to have all of our Aries Fight Series fans joining us here at the Joe and on Spectation Sports. Coming off the heels of what was a wild Aries 16. Man, that was a wild card. And now we're right back at it here in Knoxville, enjoying the action in our first bout at Aries 17. Trayton's looking good. He's got to be smart and keep those hands up, though. He's dropped him a few times. But I think that Aiden is just, just waiting for his opportunity. He's yeah, got to be careful. We're taking a look right now at the replays from round one. Some good action here. Let's take a look at what we see on the replay. Good cover up from Aiden here. And you see him come out of this combo from Trenton and immediately get right back in the center of the ring, which is good to see. Yeah, Trayton looked very hungry, very aggressive to get his offense going. It seemed like 
Aiden Brown kind of wanted to ease into this one, right? Yeah, Let me get the vibe. No, Let me get the vibe. I, I think the same thing, too. I think he's, he's trying to play it out, but we do see between the two of them, Aiden having a lot easier time with his breath than uh, Trayton. Not to take anything away from Trayton, but Aiden uh, looks a lot more casual here between rounds. Yeah, you know, they, it's, a, it's, a, it's almost a, a philosophical difference on display, right? Uh, yep. Trayton wants to come in, run in, and kill someone as quick as he can. Guns blazing, yep. Uh, Aiden Brown is figuring, I'll walk in and I'll take it all, you know? So yep. it's uh, more than one way to, uh, I don't want to say skin a cat. That's not a... To win a fight. Yeah. To win a fight, <laughs> sure. thanks. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm working through it live here on air, but <laughs> the action's got me a little frazzled. Can't wait to see how round two plays out. Got it some is good sportsmanship here into this early on in the second round. Yeah, Brown and Byerly here, round two. I'm going to go ahead and give the first round to the red corner on that one. Not I'm, in, I'm inclined to agree with Yeah. It. Yeah. Trayton definitely going forward. Yep. But right as we say that, Aiden Brown gets a very heavy knee off right yeah, to the body. Good. Needs a few more of those. Nice, nice one two there from Aiden Brown. I really like Aiden Brown's style. He's got a really long reach. He stays outside. And I mean, at such a young age too, both of these guys are gonna grow into their skill sets as they mature. Absolutely. Nice low Ooh, kick there from Brown. Brown needs a few more of those. And he's got, he's got Trayton Beverly against the cage now as yeah. he's come a little bit more centered out. Brown, I think, has uh, settled in a little bit here. He seemed a little tentative in round one, but he's, he's got some good techniques off here in round yeah, two. Yeah, I think he was just a matter of feeling Trenton out a little bit. Ooh, great teep from uh, Trayton Beverly here. That took that took uh, some impact here Another the one. body of Aiden Brown. That was good. A kick so nice, he used it twice. Yeah, and I, you know, Aiden's good at moving forward. He's staying off his heels, but he needs to make more action while he's doing it. Good head movement from Trayton Be Beverly here. Aiden is consistently walking him down, but he went right into a counter shot there. He is, and he's keeping his guard long, but also very wide, which is keeping himself open. Trenton's been able to uh, predict his moves a little bit better. Oh, and I don't think he enjoyed being tied up like that. Ref's got to get some control in there. 10 seconds remaining here in the second round. A very even round. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think both of these, oh, oh right dude. after the bell, I think both of these young fighters have got it all in front of them. And uh, referee there, a little bit of uh, admonishing on Aiden Brown as that kick was well after the bell. Yeah, you know, and I, th I don't think it was intentional. I really don't. No, I me mean neither. I think uh, this young, you got the headgear on, you get tunnel vision, he probably can't hear or see anything around him. Yeah, you know, with so many fighters are beginning on their on their debut or their first few rounds, they're, they're going out there and they're lining up the combos they know. I'm gonna hit him with combo one, combo two, combo three, and that doesn't matter if the bell's going off or not. He knows he's on combo three, and that was the last session of that combo. So I, I don't think it was intentional at all. These guys are good sportsmen between the two of them. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, as I said before, I, I really feel like this fight all in front of both of these young fighters Yep. As we go into round three, I think you edge the red corner round one. I'd give blue corner round two. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. Yep. N nothing's guaranteed, you yep. know, when you're talking about judges in this day and age. Very true. We're we, we love our judges, though. I do want to say that. <laughs> yeah, we love yeah. our judges. No no shade being thrown. But as, as this phrase always is, it's try not to leave anything to the judges if you don't have to. Um, but but that's tough here on uh, these, on these Amy tie bouts. Third and final round here. Trayton Beverly and Aiden Brown. Trayton immediately coming in with that low. He's hitting it again. Third time, and that is making Aiden oh. upset. Oh. Trayton coming in with that, that power. Man, he knows that low kick is effective, and he's going to land it a few more times at the beginning of this first, sorry, third round. This is crazy. This uh, yeah. start to the third is really insane. They're turning on the pickle juice here. There's no doubt about that. Going for that sweep, and it looks like they're going to break the action. Back to stand, and Aiden Brown's corner telling him he got to listen to us. Yep, which is hard with that headgear and this much this much noise. You know, I think these guys are both starting to get a little fatigued, and we start seeing more lockups uh, as this fatigue grows with a minute and 15 seconds remaining of the third and final. I mean, Trayton Byerly 
those leg kicks to open the third round, he was whipping them in, and that yeah. takes energy, you know, and he I think he's to, sucking wind right now. He is, and I think he needs to find more of those because Aiden Brown is really going to release the fire here. He knows there's a minute left. We saw Trayton start to turn his back a little bit. That's dangerous. And Aiden's got it. I think Aiden sensed a little blood in the water, and yeah, he's got to take walk, advantage of it. Walking him down. Yep. And he's finding a home for the hands. He's just got to be mindful of the head movement from Byerly. Yep, and I think Byerly is uh, doing what he can to – to kind of cancel that space, but Aiden Brown, I think, is going to take this third round with I know. 35 seconds remaining. This is very this close. This could be really the turn of it. Beverly's has his hands down. He is tired. He's trying to wind up for that big haymaker, and it's not working out well for him. Aiden is very, very aggressive against Trent. An uppercut Trent's. would be yep. so good. There's a good body kick from Brown. An uppercut Absolutely. would be his friend, though, because look at Yeah, Trent is starting head. to bowl up a little bit, and it, I think he's trying to be a little so showmanship about it, but what it's coming off is just fatigue. And Aiden just needs to close this out. He's got 10 seconds remaining of the third and final. He could win this fight here. Oh, that knee right is a good slow fire. Us. This is a great fight. Good job, Aiden, on that, that second knee. Probably just a few seconds remaining of third and final. Ooh. Wow. 14 years old. These boys finished right in front yeah, of us. Yeah, that Aiden was a Brown. great fight. Great debut for both of those guys. What a, what a great like way it. to kick this kick this thing off. A lot of ebbs and flows. You know, round one, uh, right. Trayton uh, Byerly was so aggressive. I felt like he just really imposed his will in round one. He, he did. I, I don't know if he hit a couple speed bumps on the second or just did. started to kind of, you know, had a little bit of an adrenaline dump. But Aiden Brown was cool as a cucumber in that first and second and really came around on that third and, and showed the heart that he has. And, I mean, he was, he was walking uh, – Aiden Brown was walking his opponent down. He was, yeah. Showing no fear. And he, he got yep. hit with some big shots and didn't really seem to register with him. So Yep, he was staying off his heels the entire time. It was great. Judges have a lot to deliberate here as we had three great rounds of action here in our Juniors Muay Thai opening bout of the night. Up next, it will be a couple of grappling contests with a couple of esteemed gyms uh, trying Absolutely. to get the better of one another. We'll get a little bit more of that momentarily. Right now, a lot of fans in here waiting with bated breath, waiting to see if their fighter will get the decision. It is Aiden Brown and Trayton Byerly fighting I'm, to decision in the first bout. You know, myself personally, I'm leaning towards Aiden Brown. I think that he looked better at the last of the second round, and I think that third round was all him. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. I actually was really impressed uh, with the way he uh, Aiden Brown bounced back from round one. I thought Byerly came out like a house of fire, really showed some good skills. He gave his fans something to cheer for. Round two, though, you saw the resolve in the game plan of Aiden Brown as he started to find a home for the hands. And in round three, Except for the first minute of round three where you saw uh, Byerly came out with just vicious low kicks. Yep. It seemed like maybe that was the last bit of energy he had because the final uh, minute and a half of round three were spent on the back foot as Aiden Brown got some good offense in. So I'm curious to see if the judges saw it the way that you and I saw it, Houston. Yeah, you know what I'm just realizing, though, and it's so hard with these debut guys. I know I'll get it right next time, but Trayton Byerly, I was pronouncing Biverly the whole time, so I apologize to the hey. Byerly family. We're close, you and me. I wasn't going to say anything, but you did. You did do that. I did that a few times. It's okay. This guy's got a long career ahead of him. No and doubt if he about continues that. fighting like this, we'll have the opportunity to enjoy his action for many fights to come. Yep. I, I like seeing both of these guys. It was cool. I like seeing uh, uh, Aiden Brown, especially reminiscent of uh, a lot of fighters I like early careers. Well, you know, I said we love our judges. Let's find out what they've been up to right now. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of three grueling rounds, this decision has gone to your judges' scorecards. The scores are as follows. Johnny Stewart sees this bout 29-28. Byerly. Judge Harlan Bolt sees this bout 29-28. Brown. Judge Justin Watson sees this scored 29-28 for your winner by split 